everyone, welcome back to another fun lesson of Tenipoi Actual Speaking. My name is Jennifer Clyde. Now, in lesson 15, we talked about making reservations and making appointments. We also did briefly talk about making plans with family and friends. Now, today's topic is breaking a promise or breaking appointments, reservations. So, we'll uh, find out a lot about breaking or canceling in this case. For example, you can cancel a reservation or cancel an appointment. But when it comes to breaking a promise, hmm, what do you think about it? Do you often break promises and not keep the promises you made? Uh, they say that every promise comes with a big price tag. Yeah, you have to pay the price when it comes to promising someone something. So I hope that you keep your promises when you promise someone to do something. Uh, when it comes to appointments, say for example, I did, uh, I did explain to you that appointments are usually something that concerns one-on-one -on -one interaction, that's right, such as going to the doctor, the dentist, meeting a lawyer. So it's all about a business setting, so appointments are very, very important for us to keep as well. Okay, well, that is our topic for today. Let's begin with our warm-up segment. Okay, here we are with today's warm-up. Let's begin with the five W's and how. Now, I did explain to you in lesson 15 that we are going to go over an outline. It is your job to do the details, the detailed brainstorming. So let's take a look. Now, we have who, of course. Who are you? Meaning, what type of person are you? Do you break promises or appointments often? So do you tend to do this or not? Think about that. You can also talk about who you know. So who do you know who always cancels on people? You could cancel a reservation, you could cancel an appointment, but when I say cancel on someone, that basically means you are canceling a plan, okay? So think about that as well. You can also talk about who canceled on you most recently. So who did you make plans with? And who called you or who told you, ah, oh, I'm sorry, but let's meet another time. Think about that situation. And what else? Who did you cancel on most recently? So think about a time that you had to call someone up and come up with an excuse or a lie, or you could have told the truth, but you canceled on someone, okay? Moving on to what? What do you tend to cancel now? Uh, perhaps you may cancel dates, dinners, drinks, dentist appointments, doctor's appointments, or even meetings, or something that's work-related. So what do you tend to cancel the most? You can also talk about that when you are talking about breaking appointments or breaking promises. Now, what happened the last time you had to cancel or postpone something? Postpone basically means to put off to a later time. So say, for example, you said, uh, let's meet next Tuesday at 2 o'clock. But then again, you have a change of mind or something comes up. So you call this person up and say, ah, oh, maybe not Thursday, but could we meet another day, a later day? You are putting something off to a later time, and that means to postpone something. So you can talk about that as well. Now, what was your reason or excuse? We all know what a reason is. In Korean, that is you, right? But what is an excuse? Now, it's not to excuse someone, but excuse in this case is a noun. And it basically is in Korean, 견명, right? So think about what your reason or excuse usually is when you cancel something. Now, what kinds of excuses do you give most often? Brainstorm about that as well, okay? Moving on, what are some most often heard excuses or lies? Now, we're not talking about excuses or lies that you give, but the most often heard, meaning what do people usually tell you? What are people's excuses or lies or reasons to canceling their plans with you, okay? All right, moving on to when. When was the last time you stood someone up, okay? This is an idiomatic expression. To stand someone up means what? 
It means to cancel on somebody last minute or just simply not show up. To stand someone up, 바람 맞추다 라는 말이에요. Okay, so when was the last time you stood somebody up? Cancelled last minute or just didn't go to meet them. Okay, moving on. When was the last time someone flaked on you? Now, these expressions are very similar. To stand someone up or to flake on someone means basically to not show up. 둘다 바람 맞추다 라는 말이에요. Okay, so think about the last time somebody flaked on you. The last time somebody promised to meet you but did not show up. Moving on to where, let's think about some occasions, okay, some times. Now, where do you never cancel appointments or reservations? Say, for example, it could be your favorite restaurant, a restaurant that you go to very, very often, so you would prefer not to cancel that reservation at that restaurant or perhaps a doctor's appointment because when you cancel an appointment with a doctor or a dentist, yeah, they are losing lots of money. So talk about a time or an occasion that you never cancel appointments or reservations. Got it? Moving on, now why do you tend to postpone or cancel? We've got postpone once again. Now this is that's right, to put off to a later time. And to cancel basically means, ah, I'm sorry, I can't go. You're breaking an appointment or a plan, a promise or a reservation. So why? Think about why you do that. And also, why do you think people make last minute cancellations? Last minute is, right, just as it says, 마지막. 마지막 순간에 란 뜻이죠. So if you say people make last minute cancellations, it means people all of a sudden at the very last minute call you or text you and say, I'm sorry, but I can't make it. This makes me very, very angry. So why do you think people do this? Moving on to our last H, how category. How do you feel, react, or deal with obvious excuses? Now we talked about excuses, right? They may be true, true reasons. Excuses can also be lies, 변명 as I explained to you, but obvious, meaning it's clear. You know that they are giving an excuse or a lie. So how do you feel? Do you get angry? Do you get upset? Or how do you react or deal with obvious excuses? How do you manage or handle these situations? Moving on to the next one. How do you cancel or postpone something? Do you text them? Do you phone them? Meaning, do you call them? Do you ask someone else? Yeah, sometimes it could, this could happen because you feel bad. You may ask a friend or ask your mother, ask somebody else to cancel something for you. Also, you may just not show up right? You can stand someone up or flake on someone. Okay, uh, I think that about, oh, we have one more for you. How do you deal with a friend? We're talking about a friend, somebody you know who constantly does it over and over and over again, asks for a rain check. I'm sure you have heard of uh, this expression, rain check. I'll be telling you more about this expression later on during today's lecture, but you can also talk about how you deal with how you manage or handle situations when your friend gives you an excuse or cancels on you over and over and over again, okay? We're done brainstorming. Do the details on your own and let's move on to actual talk. Do you often flake on people? Never. Never? No, I really look uh, try hard to keep all my appointments. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, it's something that I find, uh, you know, shows respect for people is to make your appointments be on time and, uh, you know, never cancel unless there's a really, really good reason. That's what about true. you? I am the same way, actually. I really like to keep my appointments with people because for me especially, time is really valuable, you know, so I have to s rearrange my schedule and things like that if someone all of a sudden just flakes on me, right? Mm -hmm. And usually it's, they don't really give me a good reason to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah, that really 
Yeah, it kind of sounds like excuses. Like, yeah. for example, I remember one time my friend was supposed to meet me, and she just told me that her dog got sick, but she doesn't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew she just didn't want to meet me. Yeah, it really upsets me if somebody doesn't make, keep their appointments. Right. You know, because I sometimes have to go far away to to meet them. And uh, actually, the other day, I had uh, an appointment with a, a business partner. Okay. And it took me two hours to get to the appointment. And 13 minutes before the appointment, he texted me to say he might not be able to make it. Oh, no. I was so upset. Yeah. Um, so I texted him back. That, or I actually, I tried to call him and he couldn't answer the phone. I see. And then I got really upset. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of unprofessional to do that, especially in a business setting like that. Well, and if you know that somebody's come from far away or, you know, you know, worked hard to get to that appointment. Right, exactly. You know, people's time is valuable. It's really important. To keep your appointments and your promises, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. I wonder, though, if there was ever a time where I had to cancel on an appointment. I can't think of anything on the spot. But well, actually, sometimes things come up and you it's unavoidable. You know, that's like true. the other day my uh, children were sick, so I missed something. But I called it in advance and I said I was sorry and I made a new appointment quickly. Right. So that wasn't an excuse. That was actually something that really happened. Your children unavoidable were sick. circumstances. Exactly. Yeah. Actually though, one time I did cancel on a dentist appointment. But that was because I don't really like the dentist. Yeah. I was too scared to go. I don't like dentists so much either. <laughs> now, uh, what did you think about Peter and Rachel, what they were talking about? Of course, they both try not to break appointments or cancel reservations or cancel plans with a friend. Now, they did use the word appointments over and over and over again. Now, Rachel said that she did cancel an appointment, that's right, a dentist's appointment because she was afraid to go to the dentist. And what did Peter say? He said that someone canceled on him, someone broke an appointment, and there was also a time that he had to call in in advance and say, I'm sorry, I cannot make it because his children were sick. Let's take a look at the dialogue together line by line. So first of all, Rachel asked Peter, do you often flake on people? Remember this expression, to flake on someone means to stand someone up, meaning to not show up or cancel the very last minute, okay? So do you often flake on people? Do you cancel on people often? And Peter said, never, never, I never do that. I really try hard to keep all my appointments. Now, we were talking about breaking appointments, but we've got keep appointments. Now, this is the opposite of breaking appointments. That's right. So he tries very hard not to break appointments. And he says, I don't want to jinx it. Even in Korean, I think we say jinx, right? It's basically causing bad luck. Okay. So he says, I don't want to cause bad luck. I don't want to jinx it, but it's something that I find shows respect for people, meaning not breaking promises. It shows respect for people, right? And he says, now what shows respect? To make your appointments, meaning not canceling them, showing up for your appointments. Also being on time. Be on time. Now this means to be on time, meaning not be late. If you plan or if you made reservations for three o'clock, if you are on time, that means you get there by three, not 3.05 or 3.10, okay? And never cancel, that's right, never cancel. So these things are ways of showing respect to people. Now, unless there is a really, really good reason, a good reason, you. now what could that mean? It means an acceptable reason, a reason that you can tell somebody and they will not get upset, okay? So that would be a good reason. And then Peter asks Rachel, what about you? Let's see what she said. She said, I'm the same way actually. I really like to, once again, keep my appointments, right? With people because time is really valuable, okay? Time is very precious. It is very, very important. And she explains, now, I have to rearrange my schedule if someone all of a sudden, all of a sudden, just flakes on me. 
So what does this mean? If somebody cancels on me the last minute, I have to reschedule everything. I have to rearrange everything. And usually they don't really give me a good reason, okay, to be honest with you. So let's see what else she says. Now this is an example. She says, it's kind of sounds like excuses. She's talking about the bad reasons, right? Because people usually don't give good reasons, meaning they give bad reasons. They sound like excuses. They may sound like lies. And she says, for example, I remember one time my friend was supposed to meet me. So they were planning on meeting and she just told me that her dog got sick. Oh, 개가 아프대요. That was her reason. Now, would you buy that or not? Would that sound like an excuse to you or not? Well, maybe her dog was really sick. Well, then that would be a good enough reason. But she said she doesn't have a dog. She doesn't have a dog, but she said, oh, my dog's sick. Uh, I'm going to have to cancel today. So I knew she just didn't want to meet me. So in other words, Rachel was kind of upset. Now, Peter says, yeah, it really upsets me if somebody doesn't keep their appointments. Once again, we're talking about breaking appointments. And here, if somebody doesn't keep appointments, because I sometimes have to go far away to meet them. I sometimes have to travel far distances to meet them, right? And actually, the other day, he's talking about a past experience. He said he had an appointment with a business partner. Remember, as I was explaining to you about reservations, appointments, and plans, usually appointments are with what? That's right, business partners. It usually has to do with business settings. And he says, and it took me two hours to get to the appointment. Hmm, wow, he did have to travel a long distance. And he says, and 13 minutes before the appointment, so this is what? The very last minute, 13 minutes before the appointment, he texted me to say he might not be able to make it. Might not be able to make it, meaning, he texted him and said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I'll be able to get there. Now, the word here is text. We often get text messages from people, right? In that case, a text or a text message is munta as a noun. But you could also use text as a verb. It means to send a text to someone. But make it simple and say text. I texted you. He texted me, meaning he sent me a text. In this case, he's saying the person he was supposed to meet texted him or sent him a text message to say, I'm sorry, I don't think I can be there. And so he was upset, so he texted him back. He texted him back, that's a verb. Actually, I tried to call him and he couldn't answer the phone. And then I got really upset. So he's talking about how upset he was. He was very, very upset. Now, it's kind of unprofessional to do that, especially in a business setting. That's right. A business setting basically is a business environment. If something is related with business, you would call it a business setting. And Peter says, and if you know that somebody has come from far away and worked hard, mm -hmm, worked hard to get to that appointment, right. He says it's really important to keep your appointments and your promises, right? Now, Peter continues, sometimes things come up. Now, to come up means to happen. And in this case, we're talking about things that happen naturally. Things just suddenly happen. Things come up and it's unavoidable. Hmm. It's bound to happen, right? It's unavoidable, okay? The other day, my children were sick, so I missed something. He called in though, okay, he called in in advance. There is a difference. To call in, in this case, means to make a phone call, to call somebody. I called in. I called in, meaning I called someone in advance. 미리 전화를 한 거죠. And I said I was sorry and I made a new appointment quickly. Okay, so because he was afraid that he could not keep his appointment, he made a phone call in advance and he said, I'm sorry. Could we reschedule, make a new appointment? And that is exactly what he did. Okay, moving on. Now, 
She says that wasn't an excuse, that was actually something that really happened. So it was not an excuse, it was something that really, really happened. Your children were sick. And Peter once again says, unavoidable circumstances. A circumstance is basically a situation. Things that are not avoidable, you would say, unavoidable circumstances. Moving on, exactly. Actually though, one time I did cancel a dentist appointment. Remember, Rachel said she did cancel a dentist appointment, but why? Because she does not like dentists and she was too scared to go. And of course, at the very end, Peter agrees. He says, I don't like dentists so much either. To be honest, I have canceled mm, quite a number of dentist appointments myself as well. I shouldn't do that, but it's true. Sometimes you get scared to go to the hospital or even to the dentist. Okay, that is a wrap for today's actual talk. Let's take a listen to it one more time with the subtitles. Do you have it flake on people? Never. Never? You know, I really look, I uh, try hard to keep all my appointments. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, it's something that I find, uh, you know, shows respect. For people is to make your appointments be on time and uh, you know never cancel unless there's a really really good reason. That's what about true. you? I'm the same way actually. I really like to keep my appointments with people because for me especially time is really valuable you know so I have to rearrange my schedule and things like that if someone all of a sudden just flakes on me right mm -hmm. and usually it's they don't really give me a good reason to be yeah, Honest that really... Yeah, it kind of sounds like excuses. Like, yeah. for example, I remember one time my friend was supposed to meet me, and she just told me that her dog got sick, but she doesn't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew she just didn't want to meet me. Yeah, it really upsets me if somebody doesn't make, keep their appointments. Right. You know, because I sometimes have to go far away to to meet them and uh, actually the other day I had uh, an appointment with a, a business partner Okay. and it took me two hours to get to the appointment and 13 minutes before the appointment he texted me to say he might not be able to make it. Oh no. I was so upset. Yeah. Um, so I texted him back that, or I actually I tried to call him and he couldn't answer the phone. I see. And then I got really upset. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of unprofessional to do that, especially in a business setting like that. Well, and if you know that somebody's come from far away or, you know, you know, worked hard to get to that appointment. Right, exactly. You know, people's time is valuable. It's really important. To keep your appointments and your promises, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. I wonder, though, if there was ever a time where I had to cancel on an appointment. I can't think of anything on the spot, but well, actually, sometimes things come up, and you—it's unavoidable. You know, that's like true. the other day, my uh, children were sick, so I missed something. But I called in advance, and I said I was sorry, and I made a new appointment quickly. Right. So that wasn't an excuse. That was actually something that really happened. Your children. Unavoidable were sick. circumstances. Exactly. Yeah. Actually, though, one time I did cancel on a dentist appointment. But that was because I don't really like the dentist. Yeah. I was too scared to go. I don't like dentists so much either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back everyone. Now it's time for us to go over some actual talk expressions when it comes to talking about canceling plans, breaking promises, breaking reservations, or even canceling appointments. So let's first of all take a look at this category, making cancellations, meaning canceling something, right? So you can say, I'm really sorry. Of course, you should apologize and say, but I'll need to take a rain check. Now, as I told you, this term was actually, uh, I don't know, it's a very, very old idiomatic expression. To take a rain check, basically, I heard it comes from a long, long time ago when, uh, especially there is an outdoor activity, such as a concert or even a baseball game, but it rains. So what do the people do? Because it rains, usually games or can uh, concerts get canceled. So they tell the people that have actually bought tickets to the game or the concert, saying, uh, you can possibly come back another time, okay? So basically is a less offensive way of canceling something or postponing something. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, you were supposed to meet a friend today for coffee, but 
you suddenly cannot make it. You can say, uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't make it today. Can I take a rain check? Okay, so it kind of sounds nicer than, oh, let's make plans again, okay? So try using that expression. I hate to call off our appointment. Call, in this case, doesn't mean to make a phone call. To call off means to cancel. I hate to cancel our appointment. I hate to call off our appointment, but something urgent came up, okay? Urgent, an emergency, okay? Something urgent came up, okay? Suddenly happened, okay? Without any expectation, something can pop up or come up and you may have to cancel. Another one, I'm afraid I have an urgent or a desperate situation. We do have urgent here as well, but urgent, desperate, emergency situation, they're all very similar. You can cancel for these reasons as well. What about this one? I'm afraid I can't make it at three. Okay, so you're saying let's just shoot for another day. Shoot doesn't mean to shoot a gun, okay? Shoot for another day basically means to plan. So shoot for means to plan. In other words, let's just make plans for another day. Let's just shoot for another day, got it? Okay, now this time postponing plans. I explained to you what does postpone mean? Postpone means to put something off to a later time. Are you not canceling? but you're postponing, you're rescheduling to a different date in the future. 다음으로 미루는 거예요. So, you can ask, can we put off or meeting till next Tuesday? Put off, as I meant. Uh, it is, I guess, kind of similar to canceling, but you're postponing something, you're putting something off to a later time, okay? Another one, would it trouble you to postpone, to rearrange our meeting? Okay, another one. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to defer our appointment for another time. Now, defer here also means to postpone, okay? Put off till a later date or a later time. Defer, the stress goes on the second syllable, defer, defer, defer. I'd like to defer our appointment for another time, another day. Now, another one. I accidentally double booked. Hmm, double. 이중이란 말이죠. Double booked. Now, book here is not something we read. We're not talking about a book. But in this case, it is a verb, okay? It's a verb meaning to reserve. 예약하다의 다른 말이에요. To book or to reserve. But you double booked meaning you made plans for two things at the same time or the same day. 이중으로 약속을 한 거죠. Okay, so I accidentally double booked. So you may say, can we meet later this week? Got it? Okay, rescheduling. Why don't we shoot for Tuesday then? That works for me. Shoot for once again means to plan, rearrange, reschedule. And that works for me, meaning it's doable. For me, it's okay. I am available later on, meaning Tuesday. All right. I sincerely apologize for inconveniencing you, but we'll have to reschedule or rearrange our meeting. To inconvenience someone means to trouble someone. Now, we're not talking about convenience. 편리함에 대해서 얘기하는 게 아니에요. 자, for inconveniencing someone means to trouble someone, cause trouble, make things difficult for somebody. Now, okay. I'm so sorry, but I lost track of time. You did not know that time had passed by, okay? So you can say, could we possibly meet some other day? All right, one quick one. I apologize, but there was a conflict of schedule. A conflict is kind of an argument sometimes, but in this case, it is kind of a disagreement. So you're saying there was a problem with my schedule. I apologize, but there was a conflict of schedule. Would it trouble you? Would it be a problem for you? Two come at four instead of three. So you are postponing this appointment an hour later. So you're supposed to meet at three o'clock, but you're saying, could we meet an hour later at four instead of three, okay? 
So these are some expressions you can use when you are canceling something, whether it is a plan to meet someone or an appointment with a doctor, or even when you have made a reservation at a restaurant or even possibly somewhere else. So keep these in mind, practice them more on your own, and let's move on. Welcome back everyone. Now that we've gone over so many expressions, let's take a breather. Let's take a break from all of that. Stretch your muscles, move your shoulders. All right, everyone. Now, are you ready for today's idiom? Today's idiom is, pardon my French or excuse my French. Excuse, pardon we all know, but French here, 불어맞습니다. Now, here is a sample sentence. Ouch. Oops, excuse my French. Well, I couldn't really curse on, uh, of course, television, so I just said, Ooh, do, 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 do. but basically, you make a mistake. You step on someone's foot. Someone steps on your foot. You make a mistake and you may cuss. Use bad language, but then again, right after that, you can say, oh, excuse my French or pardon my French. So here is the definition. The definition of pardon my French or excuse my French is in Korean, 욕을 해서 미안합니다. 실수로 욕이 확 나올 수도 있죠. In that case, you can say, oh, excuse my French or pardon my French. 자, 말을 함부로 해서 미안해요 라고 할 때도 마찬가지로 막 말을 좀 심하게 했어요. 그 다음에 순간적으로, ah, excuse my French 하면 되겠죠. All right, so it's an apology for cussing or using profanity or just basically simply using bad language. Here is another one. You can say this for a friend. A friend can say, I don't know, something bad about a person or use bad language. And you can apologize by saying, I can't believe my friend just said that. Pardon his French. Pardon her French. Pardon their French. 이런 식으로도 살짝 고쳐서 사용할 수 있는 idiom입니다. All right, that is a wrap for today's idiom. How often do you break appointments and what kinds of excuses do you make? Talk about some recent appointments or promises you had broken. What excuses did you use and how did the other side respond? I rarely break appointments, so when I really have to break them up, I just tell the truth. Last Friday, one of my friends and I decided to have some talks at 10, at 10 o'clock near our school. At 9 o'clock, my boyfriend texted me whether we can meet or not. So I just, told, I just texted to her that we could not meet because I was very sick. While walking along the street near our school with my boyfriend, I just ran into her. She was very angry because I lied to her. So if I, told her, if, so if I had told her the, the truth, she would, not, she would not that angry. So I think it is... So I think telling the truth is the wisest solution to break the appointments. So what did you all think about today's actual interview? I do want to say thank you. Let's check out what she said. Check out the good points and the oopsies as well. Now, she said, I rarely break appointments. Wonderful. She said, I rarely break appointments. So I seldom... I rarely, I hardly break appointments. So when I really have to break them, I just tell the truth. Now take a look here. She said break them up. To break something up means to pull apart, okay? So you should not say break them up in this situation. Never say up, always say break an appointment break reservations, so break them, okay? I rarely break appointments, so when I really have to break them, I just tell the truth. Wonderful, yeah, truth, telling you the truth is always good. Another one, while walking down the street near our school with my boyfriend, I just ran into her. Remember how she was talking about how she had made plans to meet her friend, but her boyfriend called her up and said, hey, can you meet today? So she, uh, of course, uh, texted her friend and said, uh, or called her and said, I'm sorry, but I'm sick. 
I'm going to have to cancel. So she said she ran into her on the street. Hmm. Anyhow, that was great. Let's move on to some oopsies. Now, what did she do? She said, I just texted to her that we could not meet because I was very sick. So this was an excuse. This was a lie. But this part, I just texted to her. Remember, we took a look at to text, meaning as a verb, to text message someone, to send a text message. 문자를 보내다 라는 말이잖아요. In that case, you never say text to someone. You text someone. So you should say, I just texted her that we could not meet because I was very sick. You text him. You text her. You text them. Never to somebody, all right? All right, one more quickly. If I had told her the truth, she would not that angry. This part sounds quite awkward, right? So you should say, if I had told her the truth, she would not have been that angry. Always pay special attention to the tense. Keep it constant. One more time. If I had told her the truth, she would not have been that angry. All right? So please do keep these tips in mind, everyone, and try not to make the same mistakes in the future. That is a wrap for today's actual interview. Job well done. I know I have stressed this over and over and over again, but one last time before we say goodbye. Making appointments, reservations, and plans, even promises, are used in very different situations. Also when it comes to cancelling. So when you're asked about cancelling an appointment, talk about a time that you had to cancel a doctor's appointment, a lawyer's appointment, a type of consultation. When it comes to breaking a promise, Focus on promises, plans, or even reservations, all right? Focus on what it is that you have to talk about. Well, that is a wrap for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll be joining you next time with another great topic. We'll be talking about sickness and calling in sick. Phoning someone to say, oh, I can't make it today because I am sick, all right? So please look forward to that. In the meantime, come to our home page, look for Tenny Poet Actual Speaking, and post up lots of comments. You're more than welcome to come by and leave feedback as well. Okay, everyone, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.